You're the CEO of the team? I'm the CEO of the team, so you <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I don't think so. The Bryan brothers are the most successful doubles pair of all time. 83 team titles, 12 Grand Slams. They finished the number one team for a record eight years. And in 2012, they completed the career Golden Slam. Winning the Olympics kind of gave us a lot of confidence going into the U.S. hardcourt season. And we uh, you know, won the U.S. Open, which was our home slam, breaking the Woody's record. So I'd probably say this has been our favorite season of our career. I've been on the tour for a few years and you know played them numerous times. I think uh, they're an exceptional team. I mean, they combine so well, uh, you know, on court. It's so hard, uh, you know, to play against them. I mean, uh, you know, they're moving all the time, and they're even though if they're not communicating, they just understand each other so well that uh, it makes it so much harder for us. The Bryan brothers still hungry, and unfortunately for their opponents, still determined to break more records. Yeah, it really is an amazing success story. Let's find out how they've managed to be so good. The man behind the Bryan Brothers is their coach, David McPherson. David, great to see you. Uh, what's it like coaching such a formidable team? Presumably your job is very easy. Yeah, no, it's been, <laughs> it's been a privilege, believe me. Uh, they're just amazing competitors, professionals, you know, great fellas too. So it's been a, it's been a labor of love for sure. Uh, you've been with them for eight years now. I mean, look at that list of achievements. 12 Grand Slams, eight end-of-year number ones. I mean, it's phenomenal. Uh, yeah, no, that's, each year is, uh, has been a, a successful year. They've uh, been number one every year but one, and uh, won a, at least one major each year. So uh, certainly there's been a lot of great times along and the way, and the gold medal especially. Maka, looking back eight years ago, how tough was it to get into their heads? They're twins, they've been together since a young age. Coach, their, their dad, Wayne, has been so influential for them. How difficult was it to break the mold and have your input on the boys? Oh, it was a gradual process. I mean, I, I came in and I, I tried to learn about them, what makes yeah. them tick well. And uh, they were already you know, you know, on the brink of number one and going back and forth between one and two anyway. So they were well established and, uh, and uh, on, on their way. All their games were in place. So uh, it was just over time, I think we've just learned to, uh, to get the best out of them and try and prepare them well for each day, each match, and uh, just been bonded closer and closer every year till, you know. And, and looking at their game styles, we, we talked before with JL Diago about the lefty-righty combo. Bob and Mike are quite different because one is such a strong server and one is known to have money returns. How does that complement each other and is that the key to them, to have that they have the diversity and the strengths and everything covered basically on the doubles courts? Yeah, well, they have some exceptional strengths, but you know, they pride themselves on having no holes in their game. Also, right. so uh, uh, even though Brom, Bob's renowned for an, obviously an overpowering, incredible server, I mean Mike's a phenomenal server. Right. Also, can hit any spot at any time, so clutch. Yeah. Uh, so uh, he's a very tough break as well, with uh, an exceptional net man with Bob yeah. up at the net, and, and then uh, yes, Mike's you know as we know on our tour, famous for his uh, his returning, so clutch, but. You know, Bob gives him a lot of opportunities as well, and his second shots are And you, and you talk about them being clutch, that's right, Maka, because I've played them so many times, and you've coached them to beat me so many times, but, <laughs> but they're such good front runners. When they get ahead, they're so tough to catch. When they're behind, they never let you get too far ahead. How is it their mentality to be winners and to get to those stages? I think it's just, they, they're champions. The champions. They, they really, they do everything that they can to, to win every day and, uh, and the never say die attitude and certainly if, as, a, as champions if they smell the blood as you say a front runner they, they put the pedal to the metal and so uh, they really uh, just have a champions mentality and they're tough, just tough to beat. And also I just want to talk about a couple of other teams like we have Peter Fleming in the, in the studio sometimes and he had a great career with John McEnroe. Um, we had the Woodford, Woodford, we, we briefly saw, saw Bob talk about the Woodies and taking their record. How much of an influence did those great teams have on this current great Brian Brother team? Yeah, well those teams uh, inspired the boys. I know they were very uh, big fans of Rick Leach, another great doubles player from California as they were growing up. And uh, so the, these other great teams before, especially the lefty-righty combination of uh, all taught Mike and Bob something inspired them. And, and then they've just uh, taken their, their twin uh, chemistry and, uh, and determination into to, uh, new levels of, of play. David, as far as this tournament is concerned, I mean, for all their phenomenal success, I mean, they've won this event three times, but they have performed here. This, I think this is the 12th year. 
I think outsiders would be quite surprised to see that last year they got knocked out of the round robin stage. This year they lost their opening match and needed that win yesterday, of course, which they got. But, you know, they've still got to work to qualify. Yeah, no, the event is uh, it doubles inherently as a game of small margins, and we see that every week on the tour. Uh, in most matches are close. And someone said to me in the, in the locker room uh, around the grounds last night, I said, yeah, gee, that was a, a stressful one or a, or a close one. I said, they mostly are. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. my hairline, I, I didn't get it for no reason. Yeah. So with the scoring system and just the way doubles are played, breaks are hard to come by. So the matches are mostly close. And I, I really think that that's a testament to what Mike and Bob have done. Absolutely. They won 15 majors and 92 or three titles and all these number ones. And yet the game that we play is always nearly a very close battle and somehow they've come out on top so many times so um, in answer to your question I mean we're, we're collected the best team so obviously the matches are going to be close um, and, and uh, it's worked out three times for them where they've uh, won the, the, the uh, world at end finals but uh, it's never easy no what about last night's crucial match against Qureshi and Roger I mean they needed to win it really and and, and they absolutely did to set up the decider tomorrow uh, against the Polish power but this is them yesterday yeah it was a great battle it was a great battle. it was great for doubles I mean we had a lot of uh, close matches we had some 10 eights and 14-12 uh, of course last night yeah. and uh, you know, everyone obviously always brings their best against Mike and Bob because they know that uh, they have to. There's no option really but to, to play uh, the very best level. And I thought uh, uh, Qureshi Rogier played some great tennis, played some really clutch tennis when they were in trouble and behind to extend the match just when it looked like Mike and Bob were going to maybe get away a little bit easier. So um, it, was, it was a great great night of uh, hard-nosed doubles. And Dave, I want to talk about the Bryans, how they've stayed together for so many years. And you talk about all the great teams. We see Qureshi Roger there again. They've played together two years. Why do teams split so often? And is that helped your boys be so successful? Yeah, I think it's not easy uh, to, it's like a relationship uh, where, you know, you're with each, uh, your partner each day, uh, practicing each day, twice a day, going through the wars and the battles together. So because Mike and Bob are twin brothers, I mean, they're bonded for life and yeah. no amount of, uh, no cold streak or no amount of uh, uh, set, any setback is going to derail them from uh, their, their, their so mission much. and they'll always have each other's back. Mm -hmm. So that's why, of course, they've uh, been able to endure uh, uh, all, all this time. But it's not easy for, for mm -hmm. the regular and, teams. And do you think it helps them in these 12 or 13 or situations in the matches like last night? Yeah, look, they... they like I said, it's that championship mentality, and they, and they drive each other forward too. They're, they're not afraid to, you know, give each other a little curry, you know, if they feel like the the other one uh, didn't step up or something like that. So they, they push each other forward, uh, you know, they're always striving to be be at their best. How often do they practice the bump, or are they so good at it now they don't need to? <laughs> no, I know, and it's not as easy as it looks. Uh, you know, I tried it once with my dad, and we both ended up, you know, almost in the emergency ward. So, they, I don't know, it's just a natural, once yeah. again, a, a little so skill much that energy, they have. haven't they? Yeah, they really, some of them are quite spectacular. They, they'll be yards away from each other and they'll just meet right <laughs> in the middle, boom, bounce off each other's chest perfectly. So, yeah, no, it's, just, it's pretty impressive. David, I know uh, we've got to let you go, but thanks ever so much for You're joining welcome. us. Great nice, to see you nice and to very best of luck. Hope all goes well for thanks you guys. Thanks.